Riley Knight, wet footy against a contested, really hard bodied side. What was the focus coming into tonight? Um, we knew it was going to be an armrest because of the conditions, and it was just uh, trying to test out how long they were going to be in the armrest before. We knew that if we just kept at him, kept at him, we'd be able to break it open. And um, in the second half, he really did that, which is which is good, and uh, finally get to, got some ball movement going, which is really good, and open it up from there. So that was the main focus going in. Last week was a really solid result. Tonight, do you think it was another step forward for the group? Yeah, we've been um, challenged by Pike over the last few weeks that when we do get challenged to um, you know, just find a way to win. And we did that last week against Carlton and it um, gave really good confidence to the playing group this week that uh, we can go on with the job. And uh, we knew at half time like it was tight, but we felt like we were on top and um, second half we came out and just stuck to the way we wanted to play. And um, obviously it opened up from there and got the result, which is really good. Now you had a specific role yourself tonight. Can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, I had to focus on Johannesson in the forward line, so um, if he was playing down back, just uh, pretty much follow him wherever he, w wherever he went and um, yeah, try and test me out the other way. So I got on to the end of a nice goal, which was good, and um, yeah, that was really the main role for me tonight. Texan JJ really presented well tonight, kicked seven between him. What does it do for the rest of the forwards when you see those two just strutting around, clunking marks? Oh, it's great. I mean, you know that whenever the, those two are going for a contest, um, it's either going to come to the ground or they're going to mark it. So um, it gives great confidence to the, the smaller guys around them that uh, they know that, you know, if we kick it long to them, that uh, they're a great chance to mark it. But if not, we're still a great chance to score, even if it hits the deck. And the second and third efforts lately, the last month or so, have been really good. And um, they're, they're really starting to lead from the front, which is which is great, which is what we want from our big guys. We had 42,000 fans here tonight. I'm not sure uh, if I would have braved the conditions. Uh, it's a fair, pretty good effort from uh, our fans. They turn up every week. Oh, it's a great effort. I mean, school holidays are on now, so it was great to see heaps of people out here um, braving the conditions, which is good. I know that um, there was some rain forecast, and luckily it wasn't too heavy when we were playing. And, um, yeah, just a huge thank you to all the fans that came out and supported us. Um, you know, it's, not, it's nothing like uh, coming out here and playing in front of 40,000, 50,000 every week, so it's great. You're going to keep an eye on your goal celebrations um, from now on? You've just done an accidental chainsaw tonight? Well, I have done an accidental chainsaw. I didn't even know I did it until BT came up and said, you've got some explaining to do. So, um, yeah, look, that's the first goal I've kicked outside the goal square. So I um, had to give it a little bit, but I didn't even realise I did it. And then saw the vision and there's a chainsaw. So we'll put that one away. <laughs> the D's in Darwin next week. Have you played up in Darwin ever before? I haven't, no. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll um, get an opportunity next week to um, hold and spot and um, another great challenge for next next week. Um, D's knocked us off here a couple of weeks ago and um, hopefully we go back up there and um, yeah, get the job done. It should be good. Well done. Thanks, Nada. No worries. Cheers.